the second to last day Woo! as much as i love iceland and i loved this trip and i can't wait to go back again i was sick and exhausted by this point so i was just looking forward to going home one thing to note about me is i'm an absolute sucker for lighthouses So on this day we were headed back to Reykjavik, but we spent an afternoon in Malarif, which is on the western part of the island, and there's a really cool lighthouse there. For the life of me, I have absolutely no idea what I was trying to say here. I've watched this clip several times, and I cannot decipher it, so if you can, just let me know. Um, otherwise this is just gonna be lost to the void, and I guess lost to the wind. <laughs> The continuing theme of this trip was that I was always sick and exhausted. Thank you, three-year-long chronic sinusitis. So when everyone else was walking around, I just kind of sat by the rocks and got to enjoy the view. POV or Shannon. There was a cool boat out there, and then I decided to have a little heart-to-heart -heart in the wind. And here we have another victim of the wind. This one really hurts because I think I was really speaking from the heart here, but I have no clue what I was saying. I have to assume that it's related to the beauty of the landscape and the culture and the people and the experiences that I had had in Iceland so far and just getting myself outside of my comfort zone and seeing a new way of living life and just reminding myself that there's a lot more to life and I should share what I have but also enjoy what there is that's out there and I think I was just trying to get that across that I have this story that I've been wanting to tell for seven years, so I should probably get to telling it. Visiting Iceland was certainly an excellent creative and personal reset, and it just reminded me that I should really get to telling my story and get to sharing it with people. Now please join me in taking in this stunning view. Okay, that's enough of the view. On to the bus. So as I mentioned earlier, we were heading back to Reykjavik, so it was pretty cool to see a different uh, route that we hadn't taken beforehand. This tunnel was really neat, but of course there was also beautiful coastlines and everything, and just really a, a nice contemplative drive. I was able to just think about everything that I had experienced and take uh figure out what lessons i was going to take back to life with me fields of lupine they're an invasive species but they are beautiful and they're everywhere in iceland um and we just got closer and closer to the city as you can see it's getting more in, uh, industrialized and then there's cars we're no longer alone on the road and then we got we checked in uh to get our keys to the apartment and i found myself 
waiting outside for my professor. And here's me again with my hair not being crazy and a cat. Bye.